While Pluto experienced a bit of a downgrade in 2006, that hasn't dampened scientists' curiosity about this dwarf planet. Even though Pluto is no longer considered part of our solar system, NASA was eager to explore it further. They launched a spacecraft named New Horizons, which embarked on a long journey and finally reached Pluto's orbit in 2015. As the spacecraft snapped pictures and beamed them back to Earth, scientists made some intriguing observations. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of Pluto and the captivating discoveries made by NASA. As we already know, Pluto used to be the ninth planet in our solar system until 2006 when it got reclassified as a dwarf planet. It resides in an area called the Kuiper Belt, home to numerous icy planets and comets situated beyond Neptune's orbit. Unfortunately, when the International Astronomical Union established criteria for defining a planet, Pluto fell short of meeting the third rule. It hadn't cleared its orbit of objects similar in size. Consequently, Pluto lost its planetary status and is now the largest among the dwarf planets. Back in 1905, an astronomer named Percival Lowell suspected that something was influencing the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. He hypothesized the existence of another planet causing these effects. In 1915, Lowell made a rough estimate of where this planet might be. However, he didn't live long enough to witness its discovery. In 1930, Clyde Tombaugh at the Lowell Observatory found Pluto. The name Pluto was suggested by an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney from England, inspired by the Roman god of the underworld. With this discovery, our solar system gained a new planet. Pluto's extreme distance from the sun and its dark, elusive nature make it challenging to observe. It follows an elongated path around the center of our solar system, completing one orbit every 248 Earth years. Due to its long orbit, Pluto made its closest approach to the Sun in 1989 and has been moving farther away since. It will reach its farthest point in 2113. This considerable distance makes Pluto difficult to see, even with telescopes appearing as a blurry brown disk without much detail. Studying Pluto thoroughly has been a tricky task. However, thanks to the New Horizons spacecraft and the six gigabytes of data it sent back, NASA has made some surprising discoveries. The probe, unable to orbit Pluto, couldn't capture its entire surface in pictures. Yet, one feature stood out, the heart-shaped formation. When New Horizons examined this heart closely, scientists found out that it's a massive glacier made of nitrogen, covering a million square miles. The left side of the heart-shaped feature on Pluto is called Sputnik Planum and it seems to have forcefully shifted Pluto's position so that the basin faces its moon, Charon. This shift occurred due to a process called true polar wander, caused by the massive weight of the icy glacier and Charon's gravitational pull. This led to cracks and giant faults on Pluto's surface. Sputnik Planum originated in the northwest, and its current position wasn't accidental. It moved closer to Pluto's north pole. Scientists speculate that if more ice builds up in the future, the planet will continue shifting. In addition to Pluto reorienting itself, data from New Horizons hinted at the possibility of a huge liquid ocean beneath Pluto's surface, similar to water oceans on Europa, Enceladus, and Titan. Tectonic structures seen in New Horizons pictures support this theory. About four billion years ago, a massive object from the Kuiper Belt collided with Pluto, creating Sputnik Planum, this impact formed a deep hole, allowing a subsurface ocean to emerge over time. Nitrogen ice settled on top, suggesting a fast and violent beginning for the planet. Many researchers believe that Pluto might still be geologically active. Cracks observed on Pluto's surface run for hundreds of miles and are about 2.5 meters deep. These fissures likely formed due to a freezing ocean beneath the surface, where water freezing and expanding created pressure, cracking the icy shell. Although there are no signs of contraction yet, 3D models show that Pluto has the right conditions for it. If Pluto is active, it raises the possibility that other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt may also have oceans, creating more habitable places in our solar system. While the ocean may still exist today, it's likely isolated in most areas by about 200 miles of ice, so it probably doesn't touch the surface. However, there's reason to believe that in the past, it might have leaked through a cryovolcanic activity, 
akin to volcanic activity, but involving icy substances. The thing is, while Pluto could have been and might still be volcanically active, it's not comparable to Earth's volcanoes. Instead of hot molten lava, like on Earth, Pluto might have had cryolava, a slushy cold material that once flowed over its surface. The dwarf planet's mountains, called Wright Mons and Picard Mons, could be the mouths of these cryovolcanoes, and areas like Viking Terra and Virgil Fossae also show signs of cryolava flow. Data from the New Horizons probe also revealed evidence of ammonia-rich cryolava emerging from the mountains recently. This supports NASA's prediction of the planet undergoing active changes. Besides volcanic eruptions, glaciers are still shaping Pluto's surface. The glaciers, made mostly of nitrogen ice, flow down from the highlands into the basin, carving valleys as they move. These glaciers are influenced by cycles of nitrogen ice turning into vapor and then freezing back onto the surface. Unlike Earth's glaciers, if these glaciers melt, they'll rise to the top because liquid nitrogen is less dense than solid nitrogen. This could even cause jets or geysers to erupt. Additionally, some of Pluto's surface is made of less dense water ice, so as glaciers move, chunks of water ice may rise up like icebergs. On Pluto's giant glacier, Sputnik Planum, there are unique happenings. If you take a closer look, you'll notice strange-shaped patterns in the ice, each about six miles wide. While these polygonal shapes resemble cells under a microscope, they're proof of Pluto's internal heat trying to escape from beneath the glacier, creating bubbles of rising and sinking nitrogen ice, like a lava lamp. Warm ice moves up in the middle of these cells, while cold ice sinks along their margins. Because these convection cells are rare, they're unlike anything seen on Earth's glaciers or anywhere else in our solar system. Despite Pluto being cold and far away, its icy heart, also known as the Tombaugh Regio, has a daily cycle that drives its atmosphere and climate. Every day, nitrogen ice in this heart-shaped region turns from ice to vapor in the sunlight and then freezes back at night. The nitrogen winds on Pluto circulate at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, moving westward, which is opposite to Pluto's eastward spin. When these winds hit the rugged edges of Pluto's heart, they explain the streaks on the western side of Sputnik Planum. This is surprising because Pluto's atmosphere is much thinner than Earth's. In addition to liquid oceans trapped under nitrogen ice, volcanic eruptions and glaciers, Pluto also boasts hundreds of dunes, about 45 miles along the western edge of Sputnik Planum. These dunes seem to have formed recently and need small particles and strong winds to lift and move sand or similar particles. Despite its weak gravity, thin atmosphere, extreme cold, and icy surface, Pluto managed to create dunes. Scientists believe these dunes might be made of methane ice particles, blown by winds from water ice mountains nearby. Unlike many planets and moons that have lots of craters, Pluto and its moon Charon are different. They have mostly big craters and fewer small ones. This discovery surprises scientists and provides clues about how the solar system formed and what compounds came together to build larger planets like Earth. Images from New Horizons also revealed two distinct features on Pluto's moon Charon. One stretched out like a huge plain, while the other was rough and mountainous. NASA believes these topographical features were formed from an ancient ocean under Charon's surface that froze and expanded, leading to these terrains. A southward expansion created a giant cryoflow, while the northern expansion formed rugged mountains. From Pluto being nothing but a fuzzy little telescopic dot to a world of stunning geographical landmarks, the New Horizons mission has truly transformed our understanding of the planet and its moons. What do you think? Will NASA reconsider its decision to give Pluto its planet status again? Are there more secrets tucked away in the dwarf's stunning architecture? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.